to do a podcast swap. So there you go. So that's that all it is. That sounds so easy. Don't get me wrong. It's a ridiculous amount of seeding over the years yeah. too. But still, um, yeah. the fact that you actually went out and asked because there was really no downside. But a lot of people won't even do that ask. So what can you give for advice for people so they actually will make a video text message to somebody that is in their circle possibly, but they don't like to ask? Well, I'm going to do a name drop here again. Right. Okay. Name drop alert. Name drop alert. I was hanging out with Arnold Schwarzenegger six weeks ago in his kitchen for 45 minutes. Me, Arnold, and about three other people. And uh, I won't You're go into so the details. so annoying, Jane. Okay, keep I'm going. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. And uh, he, I asked him that same question. I'm like, what, what made you become seven-time Mr. Olympia, become a movie star? Like, what, what, what was it? What's the secret to success? And he said, I wasn't afraid to fail. Mm-hmm. And as he said this, he was sitting on like a um, – um, one of those three quarter uh, length stools in his kitchen. And he said to me, look, if I stand up and I fall from here to here, it's like pretty much the same as if I'm sitting down and I fall off the chair, right? It's, it's only going to, it's probably going to hurt the same amount, if at all, right? It's, maybe I'll just fall off the chair. It's not going to hurt me. So it's like, who cares? Like if you go out and you ask someone for someone and they say no, who cares? What is the worst possible scenario when someone says no, well, I'll tell you what it is. Your pride's hurt. You feel bad. You feel like a failure. Who cares? Just do it. Like, I know this is a total cliche, Jamie, but it's so true. If you want to double your rate of success, you have to double your rate of failure. So why did I get a huge, big marketing promotion push of my Swannies? Because I wasn't afraid to send Dave Asprey a video text and say, can I be on your show? But I didn't say, can I be on your show? I said, would you like me to add value to your listeners? So I went there offering value rather than asking for something. That's a very, very- I so appreciate you saying that because everybody gets stuck on the names and it's so annoying. So I'm assuming people, the reason why I ask you the question is it's like, oh, was it a big, huge decision? Sounds like it wasn't, which is so impressive. People overestimate the importance of a name. Forget it. Like people overestimate the importance of the website domain and the URL that they get. If you have an amazing product and you're able to um, educate people on that, it doesn't matter. Like what does Nike mean? It means nothing. What does Adidas or Adidas mean? What, what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's just, they're just sounds, a made up sound, right? So Swannies, what's wrong with Swannies? Like, you know what I mean? It's when you start thinking like that and you start thinking about some of the massive billion dollar brands out there and what their names are, what does it mean? What does Nike mean? It's not a word. What does Adidas mean? It's not a word. So just remember that when you're like, what should I call it? Should it be this? Should I call it that? Who cares? Just launch something. Take action now. Get feedback and you can always change later. Okay, so a perfect segue because what I wanted to talk about was the whole failure piece because I think what we were talking about before, how do you deal with failure though? Yes, it makes sense like, oh, what's the worst that could happen? But you feel like crap. So how do you get yourself out of that crappy feeling best way possible? Well, look, I don't think it's possible not to feel crap. I, and I Look, I'm putting my hands up. I feel like crap when I get a rejection. I do. Like I, I, it's not like I'm so amazing because I don't, I, I don't fear failure and I'm going to go out there and embrace it and go celebrate when I, when I fail or get a rejection. No, I hurt like the rest person, like the next person. I'm like, oh, man, now I feel awkward. I shouldn't have asked. Uh, but then I just snap out of it and I just go, I've just trained my body to just go, you know what, James, this is just part of the process. It's okay. Let's do it again. 